For the first method, once we're on Google Chrome, we're going to type in Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and click on enter. Once we're on it, we're going to type in parallel downloading and then make sure that this is enabled and then click on relaunch. For the second method, we're going to right click on the Windows Start icon and we're going to head over to Run and then we're going to type in ncpa.cpl, click on Enter and then we're going to select what you're using. So I'm using Ethernet, you may be using Ethernet Wi-Fi, either way, we're going to right click on it and then head over to Properties. Once you're on it, we're going to click on Internet Protocol version 4, we're going to head over to Properties and then make sure that use the following DNS server is ticked and then for the top line, type in 1111 and then for the second line, type in 1001 and then click on OK. For the third method, click on the three dots in the top right and then head over to extensions and click on manage extensions. Make sure that you have no weird or spammy extensions installed on Google Chrome. If there is, then just click on remove. For the fourth and last method, we're going to head over to search and type in CMD, then we're going to run it as administrator. Click on yes, then we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, click on enter. Once you do this, restart your computer and your download speed for Google Chrome will have increased.